Where were parenting, parenting, parenting? Have you ever been at that point where you ask yourself, what did I not do right? When did things begin to go wrong? What was running into my child's mind when she made this choice? Where as parents will get to that point where you think you have failed, where you think you could have done better, where you think uh, maybe you didn't do enough. But let me tell you, as a parent, you can do so much. You can do the loving, you can do the caring, you can do the guidance. Children will turn out in different ways. There are those who will turn out right. There are those who will turn out seemingly not right. But at the end of the day, the seemingly not right, if well handled, like we are going to share in the video, they will turn out to be the best that you can ever have in your family. Kindly help me out by liking this video and if you have not subscribed, it is your first time and you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. I will be very grateful. Okay, let's look at children. How do children turn out? There are those who will study straight A's or maybe average. They will get to high school, they will get to university, they will excel, then they will come out, they will look for jobs, and they will get the jobs. There are those who will study, excel, come out of university, and they will never get jobs. Why? They were trained to, to study, to cram. Actually, if we look at our education system, they were trained to cram. What's the, the, you know, draw the, the shape of a mango, draw the, the shape of Uganda, put in Lake Victoria, draw a tree and name it. And they were never asked to go out there and look at the tree and name it. And so they study, they finish, they cannot make an application, their parents have to hustle, they have to pay bribes and to make sure they get for them jobs. What else do they know? to sit down and do what they are trained for. There is that other group that is a combination. They have studied, they have crammed, but their parents have done so much more. They have trained them in life skills. They have trained them in how to do work. They have trained them in how to relate with people. They have trained them the value of relationship. And so as they excel, they also have the human aspect of them well taken care of. And some parents are excellent. They go away uh, a, 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 an extra mile to train them in things of the spirit. And so these children in this world, they will study, they will finish, they will not depend on anyone to get them a job, they will get for themselves a job, and they will excel in life. I want to concentrate about the third group. The third group is about these children who struggle. They really struggle in class. They always pass on the line. They, they, they don't excel in classwork. For some reason, they even get tired and they drop out of school. Now, when they drop out of school, at that point, it is where the parent can make them or break them. How does a parent break this child? The moment the child says, I'm dropping out of school, the parent starts, you are a loser. You will never amount to anything. I wasted my money. My money. Look at your other siblings. Look at your uncle's children. Look at your neighbor. They have studied. What will you make? You know, what, what is your life? You are a wastage. Now, when those things get into the life of the child, they keep ringing and ringing and ringing, and they will live exactly like you have just told them. There will be nothing. 
A parent can choose this direction that I took that I'm going to share with you. We had a beautiful daughter. She was so humble, so excellent. So she was average in class. And so I was never excited to go and, you know, find grade A. No, I knew she would get her, her grades, she would pass, she would not be among the top, but she was excellent in math, she was excellent in English, she was excellent in practical things, but if you brought history for her, she had no idea, she didn't like it. And so I said, okay, she can manage math, she can manage English, she can manage uh, the science subjects, although average. I said, okay, so we'll persist. She studied and completed senior six. And so we agreed with my husband that she goes to UCU. And, uh, and so she went, she started UCU. She started, when she was in second year, she was like, daddy and mommy, I want to tell you something. This course that I'm studying, you forced me to do it. We are like, okay. You know that time when you're shocked and you do not want to shout, you do not want to react. You forced me, I didn't want to do that course. You didn't consult with me, you just told me to go and do it. You didn't even bother to know whether I like it or whether I can handle it or whether I can do the job. And then she's like, it's me who is going to do the job. Why do you have to force me to do the course? And we said, fine, if you do not like the course, come back home, sit down, think about what you want to do, and then we'll support you. Now, let me tell you, this child is so good. She's so practical. She's so loving. She's so... And so when she said she doesn't want to do the course, it was okay by us. She sat home. And then after sitting for about three months, she said, I want to go to Nigeria. And we said to Nigeria to do what? Go to Canada and pursue your course. Go to London. Go to USA. She's like, I want to go to Nigeria. Now, the reason we were skeptical sending her to Nigeria, and she didn't tell us she wanted to go and study, she said she wanted to go and look at how she can find her fit, her dream, what she wanted to pursue amongst people who will inspire her. The reason we're scared of Nigeria, you know, they are tough. You know, even when they are talking, they talk with a lot of energy. When they are working, they work with a lot of energy. Everything they do, it's like survival for the fittest. And so we sent her there for one week. She went, she came back. We thought she was going to hate it. So when she came back, she was more in love with Nigeria. And we said, of all places, Nigeria, she said, the week that I spent there, I found so much love. And so we let her go. Got her an apartment. And uh, we knew after one month, after two months, she would get tired. Then she got herself a course. She did her diploma in music. And uh, she still didn't want to, to... She hadn't found exactly what she wanted to do. Cutting the long story short, right now she's reading news on... on uh, a TV station, and uh, she's also worked with a very big radio station, and uh, she has a morning show, she's doing interviews, and she's pulled it off very well. And then recently she came and said, Daddy, uh, if you still hold on to what you told me, I want you to pay for me and I do mass communication. Wow. What a joy we received. Now, this girl who was an average in class, she turns out to excel in real life. I went to visit her and I was amazed. You don't just go to Nigeria and survive. You don't survive unless you are really smart, unless you're really strong, unless you're really determined. What am I talking to you as parents? At that point when your child chooses a different path from what you originally planned, don't break this child. Negotiate. And when you do not succeed in negotiating to bring this child back, 
support their dream. They may wake up and say, I want to be a DJ. Support their dream as you pray for them. They may wake up and say, I want to, to be, you know, uh, one of those courses. I want to be a driver. I want to buy my car and do transport. Support their dream. These children go to school to study so that what they want to do in their lives can come out well. Support their dream. And when you have supported their dream, I guarantee you, that will be the child that will take care of you when you are old. Because they have tested life, they have pursued, they have swum through, and they have managed to stand on their own. As we conclude, manage your children with a lot of love, with a lot of guidance, and prepare them to face the world. Don't prepare the world for them. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful 2021. And uh, as you do the parenting, let God guide you. I'll remind you again, if you have not subscribed, subscribe and like the video. And that is the only thing that you can do for me. And we'll grow together. Thank you so much. God bless you.